I'm now going to read you the first page of Country Girl. It starts with two dreams. The two dreams could not be more contrasting. In one, I'm walking up the avenue towards Drewsborough, the house I was born in. And it is a veritable temple. The gold light on the window panes rivering. The rooms flooded in a warm pink light for a feasting within. And along the paling wire, torches of flame, furling, unfurling. As I slide the hasp of the gate and walk towards the hall door, I see the line of men in livery, soldiers, the tips of their spears red hot through and through, as if they have just been pulled out of a fire. These are hard men that bar the way. In the second dream, I am in the house, in the blue room where I was born, doors and windows all locked, and even the space under the door where motes of dust used to sidle is sealed with some kind of, of wadding. The furniture is as it was, a double wardrobe of walnut with matching dressing table and washstand. There is the slop bucket in green with a plaited basket button. I am there alone, incarcerated. All the others have died. I am there to answer for my crimes. It makes no difference that my interrogators are all dead. <laughs>